up, Gemini? This is Soul. Gemini, this is your uh, weekly update uh, beginning October 28th and ending uh, November 3rd, 2019. The messages will be for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. I hope all is well, Gemini. Uh, let's get right into your messages. Once again, I'm using the Bohemian Gothic Tarot to deliver your messages and also uh, providing an oracle card message for you to complement your reading. Gemini, please enjoy this upcoming week. Happy Halloween to you all. All right, let's see what the energies are for my fellow twins. See what good stuff is coming up. I hope it's good stuff. Okay, there are some reversals here, uh, Gemini. Just to let you know, giving you a heads up. Oh, good energy, good energy for October 28th, November ending November 3rd, 2019 for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Messages for Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right, Gemini, the shadow card, energy that may play out along with the rest of the cards that will be selected for you uh, is death. Okay, major arcana death. Now, don't fret because this is actually pretty good. I like the death card to show up. It's a major transformation. Something has to be let go in order for something new to come to you. OK, now it may not be uh, it could be just a, a mere thought process. If something, uh, for example, that you were working on or say maybe like a project or something like that and, and it's not going the way that you want. That's just an example, okay? It, the death card is saying, okay, let's rework this, rethink this, and, and try to come at it another way. So if you're able to do that and come up or release that ideal and then let it go and then form another ideal, then that's the transformation. For others, the death card is saying that there is something, uh, a part of our aspect that we need to release because it's not working out for us and, and not resonating for us for our highest good. We need to let it go so that something else could uh, take over its in its place. So this is a major arcana and I always say. Pay attention to the shadow card energy because more than likely that death card's energy is going to play out. It doesn't necessarily, it doesn't denote, let me just stand corrected, the death card does not denote physical death, okay? So, it's something about our uh, persona that we need to release that's no longer working for us and we have to let it go, okay? It's about that death and then rebirth uh, type of energy. All right, so our focus, however, relates to that of the Knight of Cups. See, there we go, the Knight in Shining Armor. So this is a week of relationships, focuses on people. It's a court card, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female. Maybe the releasing of something uh, is attached to a relationship. There's a new relationship that's coming. This is an open general reading. It could be romantic. It could be platonic. Uh, it could be business. Something needs to be let go in order for something new to come in. All right, Knight in Shining Armor, someone is there to provide emotional support. Um, it could be a relative, it could be a significant other, it could be a cl very close friend. Somebody's here to give Gemini some sort of emotional support. All right, so following this um, Knight of Cups, we have the page of pentacles okay so there's a new job possibly coming through all right start of uh saving money page of pentacles could ac actually represent a birth of a child but there's the start of something new it's in alignment with the death card here okay so if the death card comes in as your major and then the page shows up here and the uh, knight of cups shows up here this could be the start of a new job and this may be releasing an old job that's not working out for you. OK, so maybe uh, letting go of a job that's not uh, paying enough dividends or, you know, making ends meet or you're just not basically satisfied in the work that you're doing. This could be a new job. All right. So start of a new job or starting start of something new, uh, like I said before, uh, this could be also, um, you know, like a small pay increase or something like that. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female represents that page of pentacles that's coming up in the upright position. Following that is the, see, eight of pentacles. So it is about money. This definitely represents um, possibly stepping into a higher paying job. This is a, you know, a promotion possibly. But this is a card of 
equal number of pentacles is a card of generosity. So balancing things out, your energies, okay? Balancing um, not only your energies in connection with other people, it could be your finances, working towards a better financial um, goal. That could be the case of the Eight of Pentacles showing up here. But this is a good card. Don't get me wrong. Page of Pentacles following... I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles following the Page of Pentacles. So an increase in pay, possibly a new job, the start of something new, probably, you know, start saving for those uh, Geminis who have difficulty. I'm one of them uh, to save money. You know, it's like as soon as I get money, I spend it. Boom. Just like that. Because I always need shit. Um, <laughs> so, you know, you can relate. Right. So it might be just that we. um you know, take it upon ourselves to seriously think about saving for a future. Remember, the death card is you have to let something go. If it was the way of, uh, you know, money coming to you readily and then spending it just as soon as you um, get it, then the death card is coming in here for some of us as an example to say, okay, there's something that you need to change about your uh, ways of spending or. You know, if you really want to be serious about saving monies, then there's something that you have to give up in order to achieve your financial goals. That's the point. All right. So following that eight of pentacles is the three. Oh, my gosh. We got the three of swords here. Ooh, three of swords. OK, so this is that ding, Gemini. This is our energy represents the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. So somebody is going to be impacted by the three of swords energy okay separation loss grief heartache um all kinds of um you know could be all kinds of ridiculous stuff someone forming a wedge between something that you want or someone that you want this is a card of interference this is a card of um you know still being together in a um romantic relationship but being at a distance from one another you know someone like um serving time in the military or the armed services or something like that. Well, she's not happy because her significant lover is not there. Uh, and that could be just it. All right. This is a card of loss and it's not a pretty card. It could be a, a divorce, uh, but this is a painful loss. Um, three of swords is the cutting the swords. It mirrors the page. So someone could be given birth in a cesarean section. Uh, I am getting that. Um, Three of swords could also be. Yeah, some, there's a loss. There's a Gemini here is going to suffer some sort of loss. And it's so ironic, too. The, the, what I'm picking up here. For somebody, because it follows the uh, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Finances are tied into a loss here. Even though we have positive uh, fine, uh, pentacles here, I'm getting this three of swords because I'm looking at the energy and how I'm reading this is because her back is to the pentacles. OK, her back is to the pentacles. So that is that sh either something's being blocked and is related to money or some other type of energy is being uh, blocked. That's going to create some sort of loss or painful uh, situation. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on that, Gemini. I'm just getting certain feels, and I could say a couple other things, but I'm not. Your energy, that of Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, some sort of loss, heartache, grief, um, divorce, possibly someone wanting to divorce, separate. It mirrors the page of pentacles. It could be just a separation from a job, even though I'm seeing someone getting a job. It could be a separation from a job. But the thing about the three of swords energy is because, it, you know, when it shows up, I don't like it when it shows up in the upright position. But this is uh, the card that follows the three of swords. So I wouldn't even worry about it too much. You have the will of fortune, major arcana. OK, so there is good luck and good fortune on our side. Wow. And we really needed that. Right, Gemini? It's underneath the Knight of Cups. Emotional happiness, satisfaction and contentment for those Geminis who gamble. This is a card of possibly winning a lottery. If you do play responsibly, because I wouldn't bet the farm on trying to hit the Powerball because your remote chances are hitting that are very, very slim. But the Wheel of Fortune doesn't just relate to lotteries. It could be a turning 
of some sort of great fortune in a misfortune, something that may have happened in the recent past, and then it turns in your favor, okay? The wheel continuously uh, spins and turns, but it doesn't stay always in a favorable uh, position. It has to keep turning. And I like this picture here because this person is sitting here in front of a seeker or a seer or a tarot card reader and getting his fortune read. His or her fortune. So we have the will of fortune, major arcana. Remember, it's a 10 also. So it's always a completion of energy. Uh, once, you know, we uh, if we do. Uh, experienced the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Also, I forgot to mention, too, that the Wheel of Fortune is the Fate and Destiny card for me. So, it could be for us, some of us, being in the right place at the right time, and something fortunate happens to us. We have the Page of Pentacles. We still have the Eight of Pentacles. And it kills me, though, you know, but I have to read it because we have so much positive stuff here. Even with the Death card, is positive. But when that Three of Swords, those dings come in here, it just seems like, what the hell, you know? But I have to continue to carry on and giving you the best messages that I intuitively can give you. Queen of Wands, focus, intense passion, things heating up. It's underneath the uh, Page of Pentacles. Now, with the Knight of Cups as our focus and its relationships, then there's people involved here. Now, for some, it could be in a good way. For others, it may not be in a good way. But there are people here involved. Involved in Gemini's lives this upcoming week. Sagittarius Aries. Um, Sagittarius Aries and Leo represents the Queen of Wands. This is a card of passion. Look at that. That's a beautiful card. And like I said before, you have to have this deck on hand to appreciate the deep, rich colors that this um, Cara Mahoney has put into her work. This is really, I love this deck. So, um, yeah, passion, focused. Sexual expression, sexual energy, things possibly heating up. Good card to have. Okay, Queen of Wands afterwards is the, oh well, we have the Strength card. So, I wouldn't say necessarily to disregard that Three of Swords, but somebody's going to feel the brunt of this Three of Swords in some some type of aspect. I, have, I hate to go over that again, but it's here. It's here in your reading. So, that's why I'm saying someone experiencing experiences the three of swords uh energy this upcoming week but we have the strength card so we're feeling fearless we're feeling uh courageous feeling it all in our power okay um the leo the lion represents the strength card other fire energies aries and sagittarius so feeling all empowered we got strength on our side so whatever comes up it doesn't really matter we'll be able to have the courage to see things through all right we got the will of fortune Strength card, Queen of Wands. We have the Death card. You have three major arcanas uh, in this eight card spread. And I always say the more arcanas that show up, the more intense the energy is going to be. The last card is the Magician. Okay, so we got four major arcanas. Two aspects to this uh, Magician. The uh, positive aspect, uh, <laughs> Gemini, we have all the elements at our disposal to manifest whatever it is that we want to bring into our lives, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, anything. We got that. OK, as the number one, the magician starts uh, up after the fool. So it's the new beginnings or starting something new for others. The negative aspect. This is my sociopathic, narcissistic, um, you know, energy on the negative side. These people put on masks. These people have false energies. They're manipulators trying to extract and get whatever they can. Notice this under the three of swords. Mm -hmm. I wonder who that could be. Since you guys don't like me to talk politics, I can tell you who the hell it is. He's going to suffer a loss. <laughs> El Presidente. Okay. <laughs> He's about to suffer some type of major loss. Um, anyway, so for the others, it's just that they put on a mask trying to get something out of you. They're manipulators. They um, lack empathy. They don't care about how they come across to others. They basically don't give a shit. So if you're dealing with someone who is already um, coming across as sociopathic, narcissistic, my advice to you is to recognize the energies and to um, really try to distance yourself as much as you possibly can because these people, they're emotional vampires. They will drain the living hell out of you uh, and they don't care if they deplete you emotionally, physically, financially. It's all about them and will always be about them. So 
It could be a family member. It could be a romantic partner. It could be a friend. It could be our pre No, let me just stop. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's your reading, <laughs> Gemini. You have a, you have glorious energy here. You really do. All right. You have glorious, glorious energy. So this three of swords showed up here for somebody, and this connection right here, I'm getting strongly that uh, someone is about to get a blow, a separation, or a heartache, or a break, or something. All right. So let me um, select the card in the skull of stars was selected for you this was drawn before wow okay so the skull of stars let's see what it says skull of darkness skull of flowers skull of stars scar skull of light all right so it says here why think so small when galaxies spin within, realize that you are made of the stuff of stars and infinite possibilities begin. This skull brings us back to the fact that we are all made of the stuff of stars, yet many of us think so small. We are each born with a blank canvas to paint upon and we are indeed an open sky of possibilities. It is easy to feel small in a world that is, too, that is so busy, impersonal and seemingly self-absorbed. We can, at times, feel lost and unclear about our direction and lose sight of our place in the cosmos. The Skull of Stars reminds us that we are only limited by our own imagination and boundaries. If we can dream it, it is possible. This card indicates that you need to think bigger and more broadly about your future and what you would like to achieve. Perhaps there are false beliefs, often old, that no longer serve you as you grow and change. Hence the death card. Remember something about us that we need to release and let go. Sometimes these beliefs may not even be yours. They may, be, they may have been imparted to you by your parents or the wider community, yet feel rather incongruent to you. You need to endeavor with all of your heart and soul to live the life you want and honor your own wishes and truth. That is your message for this upcoming week, Gemini. And that was a very, very powerful and beautiful message. Gemini, please be safe. Happy Halloween once again. Always emphasizing that safety. Wishing you all love and light. Until I talk to you again, be well. Bye.